In this video, I'm going to show you the four major things you need to be aware of when leveling any crafting profession in New World. Now, that's crafting professions rather than the gathering or refining, because quite frankly, the only way to do those is to put in the work. If you want to support the channel, then becoming a YouTube member is truly the best way to do so. OK, so let's start with these four major things. Let's start with the most newly introduced one, and that is the first craft bonus. This first craft bonus is relatively simple. The first time you craft an item that you haven't crafted before, for the first one of the items, you will get double X. XP. Now that doesn't actually seem like much but it is actually a game changer for reals this time. Now it doesn't matter if you craft in bulk so for example if you're trying to do the first craft there's no point crafting 50 of them you don't get 50 times double you just get the one times a double and then the rest are at the normal XP rate. But the reason that this is very important is that to not utilize it fully is basically to throw away materials. These days most of what you can craft is approximately about the right XP for the materials. So what you should do is just craft one of everything that you can craft. For example with armoring you can go from nearly 1 to 50 by crafting one of everything. You'll not quite hit 50, but you'll get very close. And then from 50 to 100, it's the same kind of story. You craft one of everything and maybe you'll go from 50 to 70, something like that. But that's very important when you get to 150 and you're trying to get to 200, crafting one of everything and getting that double XP, saving you literally gold and money and all kinds. So there's literally no reason not to craft one of everything. Every time you hit one of those like brackets, so you start at zero, craft one of everything. Then when you get to 50, craft one of everything. You get to 100, craft one of everything. Get to 150, craft one of everything. Once you craft one of everything, then you can start sort of bulk crafting to get to the final next marker really important don't snooze on it very good when it comes to saving you gold and the next thing we're going to talk about is perfect salvaging now this is a little bit random so there's no way i can give you numbers in this case you just don't know how many you're going to get but effectively it's this every time you salvage an item you have a chance of getting a perfect salvage if you're salvaging armor for example we're just going to stick with armoring for the examples here you may get these armor scraps now these are in different tiers so there's one tier from 0 to 50 50 to 100 and so on right and what you want to do is make sure you're salvaging whilst you're in that tier. So don't craft 5,000 of an item. That's going to be ineffective. What you want to do is craft in sort of like smaller batches, salvage them, see if you get any of these armor scraps. And then what you can do with them is basically get your XP up for pretty much free. Once you've got the armor scraps or whatever it ends up being, you go to your outfit or your station and then you'll see it. It'll be just like, um, use your armor scraps, you get free XP in that chosen profession. Literally no point not utilizing that. So check every time you salvage stuff. If you do get these scraps, make sure to use them. It's free XP at the end of the day. However, it is random. The next thing we're going to talk about is town board quests. Now you may have seen that these have been completely nerfed and that's true. They've been nerfed when it comes to leveling XP for your character. They have not been nerfed when it comes to XP for your professions. Now I'm not 100% sure if every profession has these. I know armoring, weaponsmithing and cooking do. I'm not sure about arcana so it might not be possible for every profession but if you do see these at the town board again pick these up and craft whatever it tells you to craft. The materials to XP ratio very very good so definitely don't miss out on these. There is a slight problem of course in that these town boards only refresh every 30 minutes and then it's random chance whether or not your chosen profession will even be on there if your chosen profession could even be on there. So it's not really something you can rely on very consistently. But if you're a casual player and you're trying to level a profession, if you can just go to all the towns that you've got in your vicinity, check if there's a town board for your chosen profession, go ahead and craft it. There's literally no point not doing. And the next thing to talk about is the replica gear. This one I think mostly applies to weaponsmithing, armoring and arcana. I don't think it works for her. It doesn't work for cooking and I doubt it works for furnishing either. But basically you may have noticed that you can craft replica gear. Now this replica gear comes from expeditions by default, but you can sort of craft a pseudo version of it. Now I'm not talking about the ones where it uses materia. I'm talking about the ones where it uses your normal materials plus some of the drops from that expedition. And it's those drops that are important. On a fresh server, they're probably going to be quite expensive, but on an older mature server, they're actually probably going to be relatively cheap and it's a good way of getting your XP up for less materials than you would normally otherwise pay. So what it is here is that you basically get better bang for your buck. You'll use similar materials to craft like a medium chest, but if you're using the materials from the expedition, you'll actually get more XP crafting the replica gear. It really depends on how cheap or easily available those expedition materials are. You'll probably find there's actually quite a lot of sticky binds if you're on a mature server for example. It's just something to be aware of if you're leveling after the fact 
If you run fresh, then I don't suspect that that will be a very useful way because they will be highly sought after and the cost that you spend on them versus the cost that you save is probably, you know, it's about the same. So as broad as long as they say, basically means same difference. I was thinking about doing a guide for every profession and then I realized that a lot of them literally just fell into these four main categories. And then it's a case of what do you craft when you're not doing these four things? And I'll leave a link to a, I forgot the name of the website off the top of my head, but it's like a guide website. You literally put in your profession and it'll tell you the most optimal way of getting from 50 to 100. Just check that out for the rest of the info. But yeah, that's how you get to max level in your professions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is truly the best way. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.